Hello there guys on YouTube, all of you machinists and wannabe machinists like me, hobbyists particularly because for advanced lathe users this video is going to be a kind of a, I don't know, comedy or something like that. But for me it, it is something that I picked up along the way and I hope that someone will find this useful and help himself. We have a forge out chuck and I'm going to present my method of chucking the stock in the center that is in my opinion the fastest possible and the most simple one. Does not have a very steep learning curve and it can be mastered pretty quickly. For the, this purpose you need chuck key, you need dial indicator, you can use this one with the holder that I 3D printed directly for my quick change tool holder or you can use an Oga arm and most important thing is to set the indicator perpendicular to your work, to your, to your piece that you're going to chuck in your in, in your four jaw chuck. First of all, this is the four jaw independent chuck. So you see, I am unpurposely unscrewed jaws. This somewhat chaotic, just for the purpose of the video. First of all, you have to put your lathe in your neutral, so you can free, without much effort, spin your chuck by hand. Then. You must use whatever whatever works. So you have to put your jaws approximately at the same distance. There is a variety of things that you can take as orientation. So for the first thing, you must know what is the diameter you are going to chuck in. So for this diameter, I can see for the first thing, we can use this surface. We put all of our jaws in by eye, like this, so that we have some of a center, something like this. Then we have all four of them. I tried. So we are still open too much. Now, since this is close, we can do this. Let's close all of our jaws for 180 degrees. One. I repeat, this is all approximately. Does not have to be exact. Just, we are now close. Now we can, since we are close, in the next round we are going to tighten all of our jaws for 90 degrees. 90, 90, 90, we have a grip already, and 90. Now we have part of our part is almost concentric. Now we put in our dial indicator. Most important thing in using the dial indicator is this for me. You set your di your dial zero facing towards the tailstock away from the chuck. And you preload and you put two of your jaws horizontally. Now you preload using the screw on your cross slide, preload it to zero. And now you put the finger in opposite screw 
and turn your chuck 180 degrees. In our measurement, we have 20 hundredths of a millimeter in plus. This means, since our needle is now pointing right from zero, this means that this jaw must be tightened for a half of the distance. So we are now around 18, 19. We put it around 10. Now we rotate the chuck 90 degrees and preload it to zero. And rotate it 180 degrees. And now we have the needle pointing left from zero, which means that this stock needs to go towards me. And to do that, I tighten this jaw. For half, we have now 10, 10 hundredths of a millimeter away from zero. We take five out. This is five out. Now we rotate 90 degrees, preload our chuck, preload, we preload it to zero and turn 180 once more. Now we have one and a half hundredths of a millimeter needle pointing left from zero. That means that we should tighten this jaw for half a distance. If you tighten it too much, nothing serious happens, just the procedure must be repeated. Now, we put next jaw in alignment, preload to zero, turn 190 degrees, we have minus two hundredths of a millimeter, that means that we need to tighten this jaw to get the stock towards me. For half the distance. This is it. Now turn another 90. That, which means now we are at zero, turn to 180 degrees. We have minus two hundredths of a millimeter. Just tighten this one for half the distance. And let's take another one. Preload it at zero. Turn 180. And we have plus one and a half hundredths of a millimeter. Now, try to take half the distance and take another jaw. Now preload once again to zero. Turn 180. We have one hundredth of a millimeter. Hundredth part of a millimeter. Overall, we have now we are out of alignment for a one hundredth of a millimeter. This actually is probably the best that can that we can get one hundredth or one and a half because this is not precision grounded stock. So in most parts, in most jobs, this must be enough. Well, if you have precision grounded or turned before, you can get it practically to zero. This method is proven to be very useful and very simple to me. So I hope that this video helps someone that is in a struggle with their four jaw chuck like I was before. Thank you for watching. Feel free to comment and if you like the video, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.